So we're here at DTLR with Bebe, and we're here to bless fathers. For us, being a part of the community is actually as important as shopping, you buying shoes from us. So we just wanted to pop up in Dallas. We brought our brother along, because he knew he'd be the person to bless, to send out the big Bebe blessing. That's what we love him for, because everything he does is grand, and we love grand. So today we're here, well, we're here with him, so we're blessing you on his behalf. I want to say Happy Father's Day. We know that fathers don't get as much acknowledgement as mothers do. You know, it's a whole journey for moms, but when it comes to dads, it's like, oh, here's a tie. <laughs> And then they want you to do something for them. So we just wanted to take five seconds to say we appreciate you, we honor you, we salute you. We know the work isn't easy. We know it comes with a lot of sacrifice, a lot of selfless days, self-love days. And we wanted to show you some love today. So I'll let, So we have, um, well, I'm going to tell you what we have. I'm going to let baby do, do, do the part we have. But we do have. Okay, we, we do have one. We, <laughs> on behalf of DTLR, happy Father's Day. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I am DTLR. I am DTLR. Listen in, on behalf of DTLR, man, yours truly, the big homie Bebe, man, I, um, I thought that it was a big blessing, man, to come out here and tap in with fathers. You know, Father's Day, it's not, it ain't up there with Mother's Day. But fathers are appreciated too, you know what I'm saying? We just have a funny way of uh, letting the fathers know that we appreciate it, you feel me? We're providers, we're, um, we're caretakers, you know what I'm saying? And so on this particular day, man, DTLR, um, good relationships go a long way, you feel me? We're gonna bless y'all fathers, man, with uh, gift cards, you know what I'm saying? Like big gift cards, you understand me? And we got a goodie bag, man, you know what I'm saying? Because you as a father, I know what you go through. You got the babies with you, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you're going through right now. Daddy dudes in full effect, and I know what type of father you is to your family, you feel what I'm saying, man? So we're gonna bless your game. Uh, man, you can uh, get your shop on. I know y'all didn't know what the hell you was coming over for. Y'all just y'all just trusted in the baby. You feel what I'm saying? Like you heard blessings, and I know some of y'all spiritual. You got a little church in you. So hey, man, we gonna open up the doors of the church, man. DTL love, man. Appreciate you, and you know what I'm saying. We got the bag for you. Yes, sir. Any days seem long. said 35. I jumped on. Yeah. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, Jesus. Look at it. Look at how Yes sir. So I wanted to say, what's the um, being a single mother, um, a widow is different for me. So I don't have an ex partner. But as a, a man and being a dad, what would you say to the younger kids that are out here and they're getting girls pregnant, maybe married, might not be married? How do they balance and still be able to co-parent and have a healthy environment for the kids? The number one thing is getting to understand it, and that's even that's even that's from the Bible. Get an understanding on what's going on, time, uh, 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 spending time with the kids, and, and getting a, and, and and establishing a healthy relationship. Even though you and the, uh, the co-parents not together anymore, make them understand that hey, I'm going to see other people. Understand that she's going to see other people. Can't have any type of jealousy. Rule number one: you can't be still sleeping with one another if you know it's not going to work out. So, and I'm telling you, these are things that I've done. You know what I'm saying? Because once me and my my first baby mama was separated, that's what that was. One number more back and forth, and cause we understood that we had kids. So that that was the main thing was getting understanding what's going on between me and her, and me and her had no problems, zero. Even with child support, we got to, we had to understand it with child support. You know what I mean? So we went all the way down through that, and that comes from me because I'm smart enough to be able to say, hey, look, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. Even with getting taxes back, I didn't get no returns back, but I was able to go and say, hey, look, well, I'm going to give you this, you just give me this X amount of dollars back. It worked out. Love it. Mm -hmm. Use condoms and think wisely who you would like to be your mate because you will be taking care of somebody rather than them being a partner. That's all. the only thing I can really tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because love is like puppies. They all pretty. They all look good, but once they grow up, they can be one a killer or a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? But it's life. That's how, I mean, that's how I like it. Don't get them pregnant. Take your time. Do not do it. Don't do it, bro. Like, huh? Now, if you're in love and you and you see yourself building and adding on with another person, then that's different. You know what I'm saying? But if you're gonna be out here just, you know what I'm saying, shooting the clubs up, don't do it, bro. You're gonna cause yourself a whole lot of, you're gonna push yourself back, you're gonna cause yourself a whole lot of agony and stuff you don't have to deal with. And creating broken homes, I wouldn't amplify that, you know what I'm saying? But if you do, 
step up and do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? What you can do. Don't 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 try to split yourself nine thousand ways if you got nine thousand places to be at once. Balance. Understand that you can only be one place at a time, but understand that you always got to be there for the kids. Always. That's not. That's not. It's not. It's non-negotiable. I don't care if you you can't deal with her. She acting whatever. You still got to be there for the kids. Now you can only be there for what she what they allow because that plays a major role in it as well. You can only be there on what you know. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody ain't telling you nothing, uh, you can't see. You, it, don't do it, but if you do. <laughs> if I'm talking to a young man or my younger self, just understand yourself first and develop a positive relationship with yourself. That's the first thing. That way you're gonna know what type of partner in front of you and collectively, you and the woman need to have the same vision when it comes to family, when it comes to children. That way, that's going to cancel out any other issues that we typically experience in our um, household or in our um, community. And two, like, stuff happens, you know, you end up with um, baby mamas or people end up pregnant or y'all don't see eye to eye. At that point, both parties, man and woman, got to see eye to eye and know that it's an important life that's going to need both parents. It's going to need the mom don't need the dad so ultimately if the mom and dad can be in the picture like that's the best that's the best medicine that's the best soul food for that child nobody wants to live a life without a mom or without a dad you know what i'm saying the best of both worlds you get your mom and your dad so as parents as knowing you know we know before the child knows the child doesn't have a choice in this so just make that choice for the child you know and see what's best for the child because at the end of the day that's what's most important um, no, man, being a father is, is, is beautiful, but I, I got like, I got like 17 kids, and yeah, don't, Easy. stop, boy, <laughs> I, I couldn't pull out a parking lot, hey, <laughs> no, yeah, 17, 13 boys and four girls, so the beauty of evolving was for me um, having the two children inside the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't never know um, that I even wanted that feeling of when you hit the door, mm. out of nowhere, the whole house. <laughs> Boom! Like, and uh, Like, if I don't get that now, uh, hey, y'all here? Kids, yeah. hey, where the kids at? You know what I'm saying? So they, my in-house kids, made me appreciate all of my other kids. So if you can, if you can control wait until you had kids inside the house so you can be there every day or almost every chance you can get. I promise you, I think it'll enhance, you know, the fatherhood, the whole connection between relationships and the whole nine yards, right? Everything don't always work out. But for me, balance. Balance. Um, being able to allow them to go, seeing them, seeing you, seeing you in them, letting them go out and bumping their head and then you nurturing them back to, you know what I'm saying? So I think the word for Bebe is balance because I still got to go and hustle, work, do that, but come back and then be that father. That's it, because you got to have that, that money. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know being a father is expensive. <clears throat> so if I gave all my kids $100 a day, that's $1,700. A day or a month. We ain't, we ain't rocking. We ain't got it like that. Mm -hmm. So you gotta have, you know what I'm saying? That balance. You know what I'm saying? And the money ain't gonna take up for the time either. That's it. Nah. Investment. I heard that word. Investing into my kid now, so I ain't got to have certain conversations later on. Or if I do have to have them, I'll have a connection. Good thing about it, I think I got a good connection with all of my kids whether I'm there every day or not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tips. Yep. I, I don't see how a guy could not want to be in his kids. Like, right. That, that, yeah. that, that bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's hard too, because you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, man, just, you know, the devil get busy. Yeah. And, and he's the he's the master of confusion, so he confuses you and the partner, you yeah. and your, you and your uh, kid's mother, you know what I'm saying? Not to see eye to eye until, what, seven, eight, nine, ten years at that point. 
that's your little homie at that point. You know what I'm saying? He able to understand for himself at that point. <laughs> yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I tell all the fathers, man. You know, try to try to build some type of bridge between you and them kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, being able to reach them as you invest into them, being able to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See you and them and invest into that balance and then care and work it out through there and go over there and go to football and everything like so. It's just a whole nine yards, man.